What's going on guys? So I am here at Ron Hoover RV and Marine in Corpus Christi, Texas. I want to show you guys a really cool fifth wheel that I ran across last time I was out here. I think you guys are going to like it. So guys, you are looking at the Heartland Big Country 4010 RD. This fifth wheel is massive. It is truly one of the largest interior floor plans I've seen on a fifth wheel. And I think you're gonna be pretty impressed with some of the things that Big Country has done with this specific unit. First of all, just take a look at this storage. Now, of course, in a video, you're not gonna get a true perspective of how large this is, but it's three feet tall by five feet wide and is cavernous. This thing is enormous. Now, there are some DRV units that I've been in that are about this size, but this one is truly the largest basement area I have seen in a fifth wheel. This fifth wheel does have the LCI level up auto leveling system, as well as a drop frame section. You can see some of the foam insulation that they use to seal up the underbody coverage and how it kind of seeps around. It has a ton of outriggers as well. And outriggers are these little pieces of metal here that come out off the frame to support anything that overhangs the side. Behind this door is your propane bottle. You have one on each side. They are 30 pound propane bottles. Your doors are all about an inch and a quarter thick. Has a nice exterior gel coat finish to it. It's a high gloss finish. Nice slam latches, pretty much standard on this type of unit. Aluminum steps. Rack and pinion slide system. This unit has a total of four slides. Now the front bedroom slide is a cable driven slide. And then all the other slides are rack and pinion. So taking a quick look at the numbers on this unit, this specific trailer has a 16,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating. And at this size and weight, I would definitely suggest getting a dually pickup truck to tow it. And a 2,062 pound cargo capacity. It also rides on 7,000 pound axles. I would have liked to seen a upgraded pin box on this specific unit. This does have the standard Lippert 1621 HD pin box, which is rated up to 18,000 total pounds. Of course, pretty much standard on this type of coach are going to be your frameless windows as well as a 20-foot awning that runs across the top front portion. This unit does have Westlake tires on it as well as the Cree 3000 Moride suspension system. It also rides on a 12-inch I-beam frame. Up front, underneath, it has a double battery box. It's wired up really cleanly, actually, for a fifth wheel. All your hydraulic systems for your slides and a spot for a generator. Here's your wet bay. Has all of your handles for your wastewater, gray tanks, as well as a water purification system. All of your cable connections, satellite connections. And it's a nice sealed off wet bay as well. So if you have any type of water spillage in here, you don't have to worry about it getting into your storage. Speaking of storage, here's the other side of your storage. There's your auto leveling system and your instructions on how to use it. They also put a nice access door here behind the refrigerator in the kitchen. This gives you access to winterizing your system and bleeding out the ice maker. Even though they are Westlake brand tires, they are an all steel radial. And again, it has the Cree 3000 suspension system in between. The back of this unit looks really nice. It has all LED lighting. And it is pre-wired for a Furion backup camera. Now let's take a look inside of this specific fifth wheel so you can see what all the rave is about. Again, this is a huge, huge fifth wheel. It is a wide body design, so it extends to a total of 101 inches wide versus your traditional 96 inches wide. Just a really, really large fifth wheel. Look at the back here. You have two love seats that turn into beds. You have theater seating here, a little bar behind the theater seating. Some really nice trimming and crown molding woodwork that divides the spaces up, as well as some beams that run across the top so you don't see just those tacky looking little plastic strips. This one hides them real nice. As you can see, it has whisper quiet AC units. 
and it has a televator here in the back. But a really nice buffet kind of area right here. Now, I traditionally am not a big fan of these televators. I think they're kind of that extra component that can fail. However, in a unit like this, where you have this massive window in the back and you have a nice little bar area here, it looks really nice, especially when it's down. It has a 40 inch fireplace. And there's not a lot of carpet here in the kitchen and living room area. There's some carpet underneath the slides, as well as both love seats. Has a beautiful kitchen, a lot of countertop space. So you have this huge island, and then you have countertop space here, as well as the upgraded propane cooktop, stove, and convection microwave. Nice cabinets with hidden hinges. The drawers look really nice on this coach. Full-size residential refrigerator. Lots of countertop space. More space here, drawers. You have a beautiful pantry. Lots of storage. This is definitely the type of coach that somebody might want to get if they have a larger family, if they're going to be full-timing it, if they're going to be traveling all over the country. Go over the pricing real quick. It has a MSRP of $100,000. They give you $30,000 off, $69,999. Has a dinette slide right here. But again, just take a look at the woodwork in this unit. A lot of beautiful trim. Just looks really nice. Now let's work our way up to the master bedroom and bathroom. This is the master bathroom angled toilet, nice shower area, one piece, has some really nice storage here for toiletries and other essentials, towels, things like that. A huge countertop area here. So you have your sink, which is actually larger than most sinks that you get in RVs and a lot deeper too. It's significantly deeper than most RV sinks. Nice upgraded faucet, medicine cabinet, more storage right here and a ton of countertop space as well as additional drawers and storage there. It's a really well laid out bathroom. Has two doors, one from the main part of the coach and another one right here. So going into the master bedroom, it is a king size bed, but it gives you a lot of space around both sides of the bed. On this side, you have the entrance to the bathroom and about a foot, but on the other side, it looks like you have about 16 inches of space. Just a lot of space to get onto the bed, out of the bed, Plus, I like these little shelves that they put on each side of the bed as well for your cell phone, drinks, whatever you might want to put there. Another Whisper Quiet AC unit up at the front of the coach with its own dedicated thermostat. This one has a Dyson vacuum included. A lot of closet space. And then something that's pretty common is a nice dedicated spot for either a stackable washer and dryer or a combo unit. With extra storage and if you don't have a washer and dryer of course you have extra storage and closet space here as well something else that's very common with fifth wheels is under bed storage so it's on hydraulic arms you have your two additional dinette chairs that go up front as well as a lot of space under here if you need to store anything it is a carpeted bedroom a lot of people would prefer like a linoleum or a vinyl surface here as well but it is carpeted nice wardrobe as well as a TV pre-installed. Overall guys, this is a really cool looking floor plan. You know, it's not your traditional rear living room floor plan. It definitely has more of a cozier appeal to it on a much larger scale. And it's definitely something if you're a, you know, a family or if you're just a couple that are traveling around the country, or even if you just want to be stationary and you want to have a really nice floor plan with a lot of space, this is definitely something you might want to consider. As always, thank you very much for watching my channel and subscribing to it. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and we will talk to you again very soon.